DJ's Brew Tube Beer Review. You know what guys, I've been brewing all day long. It's hot here in the house. I cleaned up all my mess before mommy got home and gave me shit about brewing. Does that ever happen to you guys? When the wifey comes home, misses it and too happy about the brewing mess? You know what I'm talking about, you feel me? Yeah, that's right. So, what are we gonna do for our reward beer? You know I like to have a reward beer. Well, we're gonna go to Ballerstein, Germany and we're gonna have first Ballerstein Brauhaus's first in Zwickel beer. Now, you say, what the hell is Zwickel, Zwickel beer? Zwickel beer is a, I guess, what do you want to call it, cousin of Keller beer and Zeugel beer. And it's sort of, I guess, the best way to describe it, this, this type of beer, Keller beer and Zwickel beer, is like the real ale of England. Generally, they take this beer, they put it in a cask down in the basement, because Keller in German is the same as cellar in English. They put it, they age it in the cellar or keller, and then they drink it directly out of that. Now, generally, these beers aren't carbonated because they loosen the bung that is on the uh, cask that they're in, and some of the CO2 escapes. So, they're generally easy drinking beers, unfiltered, um, not super hoppy. They're like sort of a floral hop. And from when I've had them before, they're sort of kind of like if a Hefeweizen and a Pilsner has sort of a love child because they use like Pilsner and, and lighter malts. And the you know hops they're using it is I think is like Hollertau hops, so it's not a real um, you know aggressive flavored beer, but it's easy drinking. They're generally lower alcohol. They range from 4.7 to 7% ABV and 14 to 18 IBUs. This one happens to be 4.7%. So first, Wallerstein and or the Wallerstein family is a German noble family, and they've been brewing beer since 1598. So if you've been brewing beer that long, generally you've got your, you know, your chops down. So let's get this beer in the glass. And one important thing to know too, they're generally unfiltered, like I said, and they're also unpasteurized. So like I said, it's very much the real ale of Germany, but in a lager form as opposed to maybe you'd call it real lager, I don't know, as opposed to the ale in the UK. So let's get this swing top popped. Yeah, I love those bottles, man. And this is good for home brewing later and get it in the glass. Yeah, there we go, unfiltered definitely. Now these beers usually aren't carbonated. Sometimes the Zwickel beer will have a little bit of carbonation to it, but not always. Also important to note the date is on this bottle, is, and it's good until February 19th of 2014, so this one's super fresh. So this one is, it's unfiltered, but it is pretty clear. It's got a solid two, about two and a quarter finger head of super tight white bubbles. If you swirl it, you're not getting any alcohol legs. You're getting a little bit of clingy lacing trying to grab to the top of the glass here. Let me get a little room for my nose. And let's get a nose on this bad boy. But if you take a look at it, really nice looking beer. Only slightly hazy. Maybe they did filter this one a little bit. Or if I swirl the bottom, if I drink it down, I might get a little bit of more of the unfiltered look to it. But Really nice looking beer. Let's get a nose on it. Sweet malt. You can smell the lager yeast. It smells like a beer, if you know what I'm saying. A bit of caramel. Floral hops. And that's about it. It smells a lot like a wheat beer, and it's got a little bit of the bite of the nose in the nose of Pilsner malt. Like you, you know, like I said before, like I said, it's like a love child between a wheat beer and a Pilsner. So let's get a one more shot. Yep. It doesn't have a cardboard smell. It doesn't have a corny smell or a cheap lager smell. It has an all grain lager aroma. They say it smells like a beer, but it doesn't smell like a cheap beer. So let's get a taste of it. Wow, that's real easy drinking. The flavors I'm getting off of this, it's got a yeasty taste to it. Caramel malt, sort of. Biscuiting, floral hops, and it actually has a fairly dry finish, which is surprising. I thought it would be a lot wetter beer. If you take a look at it, I mentioned glass lacing before. Look at that, guys. It's that typical German lager. It's well put together. There's absolutely no alcohol taste at all. The um, body is medium thin on this. And let, let's see if we get some cloudiness if I swirl this and I pour it. Let's see. Take a look real quick. Yeah, it's clouded up a little bit. If I wipe the chill haze off, you can see it's clouded up a little bit. So the sediment was down at the bottom like a wheat beer. I guess, you know, you could maybe pour this like a wheat beer. 
But let me get one final taste and we'll give you a grade on it. That's really easy to drink. And like I said, it tastes like the combination of a Pilsner and a wheat beer in a lot of ways. It's really light to drink. And this could be very well, you know, accompany many foods. Um, sausages, heavier foods, things of that sort, because it's a lighter beer. So I'm not babbling on here. Tasty Brew, what do the other guys think? Ray Beer is giving it a 53. You know what I think about Ray, Ray Beer. They can take the piss. Their, their metrics are garbage. Beer Advocate's giving it an 85. I think 85 is a, is a good score. This is, in my mind, a B-plus beer. I like these lighter beers. A lot of folks bash on them and say, oh, they're you know, lighter beer, it's not a big style, it's not high alcohol. But you know what? Every beer has its place in the world. And Stickle Beer or Keller Beer has its place in the world. It's a light beer, it's easy to session on, you don't get trashed out when you drink it, and it's just a tasty brew. So, I'm going to give it an 86 myself, I'm going to give it a full B+. If you find this beer, um, it's available at Total Wine stores, I'm not sure other places in the States. I haven't seen it anywhere else except Total Wine, and I shop beer stores extensively. Um, Total Wine, they've got like 91 stores, so odds are maybe in your state there might be one. But until the next time, guys, we got to talk about something important. We got to talk about thinking globally. We got to talk about drinking locally. Hell, I'm thinking globally today. I'm drinking some German beer. We got to support the craft beer movement. We're going to keep this thing going. Until the next time, guys, thanks a million. I appreciate each and every one of you. Remember, rate, comment, subscribe, hit that like button, whatever you want to do. Until the next time, that's a big peace out.